This is my knackers yard garden type thing. Um, garage is a bit full at the moment, but uh, so Thundercat Day. Um, it's got a couple of weeks of MOT left on it, so I've booked it in. Uh, just sort of get it done, and then it's uh, one less thing to worry about, one less thing to be concerned about. Um, the only bits that I've done in the week, it's been, you know, back to work, um, or second week back into work, it's just been mental, so I've really not had a lot of time, and it's dark in the evenings, etc, etc, winch, winch. Um, what have I done? I've done the brake pads, specifically for MOT, they're the ones that come off, you know, they're fine. There is enough meat on those to have passed, but frankly, I've put new ones on, because uh, they were not, yeah, they were an MOT pass, but actually, I was didn't quite think there was enough on there um, for my own liking. Uh, the other bit that I've done, you may see an absence of a rear view and front view camera. Uh, let me do a bit of really bad editing and I'll show you why. Still being supervised. Um, there's some bad editing. So what have I changed? Um, and it was a suggestion from some of you guys actually, or a couple of you guys, and it was a mixture of that and uh, another site. So my thought process. Um, that's the earth. I had one of those spades that went onto, or I put one onto the wire, assuming that it had just fallen off. Did it straight into the battery, and it meant the system was permanently on. And it meant I could have it up here, and I could have it all funky, like I was, you know, going to use it when I was riding. Of course, you're not going to be staring at a screen when you're riding. You're going to be looking at where you're going. Um, so that was one saying, and then one of the guys saying, you could hook it up to the ignition, and it'll turn on when you turn the engine on very good point well presented um i was concerned this has got like a rumble function that if you move it it, it, it turns on and starts recording um i didn't want to lose that but what i didn't realize was it's got a battery in it or it does charge the battery within it so it will hold a charge and i tested it throughout the week and it'll hold that charge but it's indoors to be fair um but it'll hold that charge for a week and still turn on whenever you just push the button so what i've done is i have hooked it in to the bike I didn't want to strip down the front to get to the ignition, so I thought I had a bit of a cobby around trying to basically just jamming that live cable into or, or getting contact with wires, turning the engine on to see what happens. Then I had a bit of a brain fart and thought, well, I always ride with my lights on. I don't know about you guys, I always ride with my lights on. Um, routinely, I leave my lights on. I can't with the phaser because it destroys the battery because it's got that strange uh, new headlight on it, but I always leave my lights on. So all I've done is hook the live into the rear light and it is literally hooked it's not even you know it's just poked the wire around uh, and off you go so i now have a system give me my keys that oh, i'm turning on the engine i'm not going to start it up because it's a bit early fuel pump ticking through when i turn my lights on ding -a -ding, and it starts recording straight away you can see the little red flashing light on the top left. So job's good. Turn the lights off, stops recording. So, with my working camera, I'm going to go on a cabbie for an MOT uh, and I'll join you in a little bit and uh, all being well, we'll pop in on a mate as well. Right, so, got some fresh go-go juice, got me a uh, reliable sat nav telling me which way to go because I'm not sure and let's get going never look that elegant going backwards on a motorbike I suppose at least it's not beeping <laughs> Oh, 
Got it for motorway cruising. I get angry roar of this. Right. It's a little bit, uh, it's a bit quiet, but I've, I've been spoiled with the phaser that's just fucking loud. Um, but yeah, it's got enough oomph when it needs it, and it's got quite an angry growl when somebody does something stupid like that and doesn't give one a roundabout. Or even slow down. I don't think you should be allowed to drive a car unless you know how wide it is. Uh, it's cruising around Hampstead Heath. Sort of behaviour that can get you arrested. It's picturesque and everything, but the roads are shit. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty, but not very functional. Who got done for dogging on Hampstead Heath? Was it George Michael? I don't want to get libel for it. Can you libel somebody if they've died? I don't know. I just remember a, a famous getting done for it, but I can't remember who it was. Ah, I recognise where I am now. That's just spat me out in a completely different way than last time, but it's up here on the right. Ah. Go Maitland Racing. Yes, it is. GoPro stop recording. Well, while the MO2 is being done, that's 40 minutes well spent with this. Let's go see whether or not it's uh, fast. Right, there we go. That is job done. Uh, full MOT, four years MOT, no advisories, and you see some amazing bikes kicking around here. Right, let's go and see if we can uh, track down Charlie. Charlie, see if we can track down the motorcycle rescue.
<laughs> mate. What the fuck's going on with your hair? Yeah. <laughs> Alright, mate. What's that? Yeah, straight yeah. through, mate. I'm the motorcycle rescuer, and this is motorcycle rescuer. again what a brilliant little bike this is absolutely brilliant I've had a lovely day um, successful day clear MOT no advisories uh, all tax insured etc etc my my new day bike um, which I'm dead chuffed about really nice to catch up with uh, Charlie motorcycle rescuer uh, Sultan hadn't met John before lovely bloke with his Bonneville um, brilliant well well happy right that'll do me uh, i've got a shed load of editing to do uh, and i'll see if i can pull well you would have seen it by now whether or not i've pulled it together uh, but cool thanks very much all i shall catch you later